Hi, this is Mark Harrison with a preview of our Pop Piano Book video instruction series, Chapter 3. Our Pop Piano Book keyboard method is used by many thousands of musicians around the world. And we've now created a 25-minute video lesson accompanying Chapter 3, which deals with diatonic triads and four-part chords. In here, we also develop the major scale contour concept as a way to get comfortable playing in all keys. Let's check out some excerpts from this video lesson. Our first excerpt shows the D major scale contour and uses it when improvising in a pop ballad style. Let's actually jump to a D major contour, which is the third one shown here in figure 3.1. Again, I'm going to position the fourth finger of my left hand on the D and I'll build successive whole steps and half steps. So whole step to E, whole step to F sharp, half step to G, whole step to A, whole step to B, whole step to C sharp, finally a half step to D, and we get that shape of a D major scale. It's good to be able to play that as well in different registers. Up and down the keyboard, that gives you a feel for the restriction of the scale. So once I've learned that D major contour shape up and down the keyboard, I can begin to use that as a filter or restriction of notes. Let's say if I was improvising a ballad style within D major, that's the shape again. So for example, so all of that was within that D major contour I explained just now. Next, we show the E flat major scale contour and use it to derive all of the diatonic triads in this key. So let's again pick out the diatonic triads in another key. Let's say we took the key of E flat. Just to review, we built an E flat contour at the end of measure one of figure 3.1. We start on E flat and we build these notes. That's using the necessary whole steps and half steps starting on E flat. If I now look at figure 3.5 on page 39, I can pick out the necessary diatonic triads, namely E flat major, F minor, G minor, A flat major, B flat major, C minor, D diminished, and back to E flat major. Again, those are wholly within the E flat contour shape, but the hand is in a different physical position to pick those out. Finally, in this preview, we show the F major scale contour and diatonic four-part chords and use these when improvising in an R&B pop style. Finally, in this section, we see examples of these diatonic four-part chord exercise settings in different keys. For example, here in figure 3.56, we have diatonic four-part chords in the key of F played as quarter notes. Two, three, four. Now those chords are the source of many pop and R&B songs in the key of F. Let's see if we can create an example. Let's say I went from the 4 chord, that's B flat major 7, to the 3 chord A minor 7, to the 2 chord G minor 7, and finally to the 1 chord F major 7. I'm going to improvise like an R&B ballad pattern around that progression. Here we go. The complete video lesson covers all of the Chapter 3 content in depth, including major scale contours, diatonic triads and four-part chords, and exercise settings in different keys for practice. For the best results, we recommend using this video lesson together with the Pop Piano Book. You can order the Pop Piano Book and the video instruction series from our website at harrisonmusic.com. I hope you enjoy our chapter 3 lesson and good luck with your music.